Good morning, Middle Pre. Today we have the first lesson of the trigonometry. If I ask you about the units, okay, first point, the unit of measuring angle. Who can tell me what are the units of measuring the angle? The first unit which we have it, which is the degree. How would I the degree? One and a small circle like this. The second unit which we have it, which is the minute. How would I write the minute? One minute like that. Minute in day. Three. The third unit which we have it, which is the second. How we write it? Double that like that. Okay. So we have three units to measure any angle: degree and minute. What is the relation between them? The degree equal 60 minute and the minute equal 60 seconds. This is the relation between them. Okay? So we can write the measure of the angle by new way. We can write it 35 degree and 30 minute and 15 seconds. This is a new way to write the measure of the angle in degrees and minutes and seconds. Okay? This is the first point which we have. The second point, I can ask you to change the measure of the angle. How, Mr. Look? I can give you the measure in degrees and I ask you to write it in degrees and minutes and seconds. Look at the first example. I can give you the measure of the angle 24 and a half degrees. How we change it from degree only into degree and minutes and seconds. Logic, a half degree equal 30 minutes, right? So this one, it will be 24 degree, this is the whole number. And the half the degree equal 30 minutes. And there is no second. Mister, I can't understand. Okay, I can say another way. We can write twenty-four and half on the calculator by using shift and fraction. It will be mixed number twenty-four and a half. Then press comma to write the degree. And press equal. You get the same measure with you. Okay? Another one. If I ask you to change 38 and 1 over 8 degrees from degrees into degrees and minutes and seconds, by the same way, I can write. 38 and 1 over 8 by using the calculator, take the fraction to so change it into the mix it and press comma to get it and to write the degree. What we get 
we get 38 degrees and 7 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay? This is the first part. You understand? The second one, I can give you this angle in degrees and minutes and seconds, and I ask you to write the measure in write the measure in degree how we write the measure in degree the first one if i give you 34 degree and 15 minutes and zero seconds what i will do i will write 34 then press comma to write the degree then 15 and press comma to write the degree then zero and press comma to write the degree. Then press equal. What we get? We get the same measure. So what I will do? Press shift SD. Shift SD to change it into mixed number it will be 34 and quarter degree. You understand? Another one. If I give you 15 degree and 45 minutes and zero seconds, by the same way, I will write 15, then press comma, to write the degree, then 45, and press comma, to write the minute, then zero, and press comma, to write the second. Then press it. what we get, the same measure. Then press shift SD to get it as a mixed number. It will be 15 and the three quarter degree. You understand? Okay. Now open your booklet. Page three. Okay. And we have some examples. We have to solve it together. The first one, he asked me to change this measure into degrees only. First one. What I will do to solve the first one? Hmm. He give me 76. So I will write 76, then comma on the calculator, then 12, then comma. Press it. We get the same measure. Then press shift and S B S to D. What we get now? We get 76 and the 1 over 5 degrees. This is the first one. You understand? Okay. The second one by the same way. Right? 45 degree and 3 minutes and 45 seconds and press equal. You get the same measure. Excellent. Shift SD. What we get now? We have 45 and do 1 over 16 degrees. Okay? And you can solve number C and number D as a homework by the same way. This is the first type. The second type, he gave me the measure in degree. And he asked me to write it in degree and minutes and seconds by the same way. What I will do? I will write 34.6 degree. You remember how we write the degree on the calculator? Then press equal. Again, 34.6, press comma, and press equal. Who can tell me the measure? Excellent. It will be 34 degrees and 36 minutes and zero seconds. Thank you. The second one, number B, by the same way, 
you can write 78.08 then press format on the calculator and press equal you can try again 78.08 then press format and press equal who can see the answer? Good. 78 degrees and 4 minutes and 48 seconds. Thank you. By the same way, you can solve number C and D as a home. Okay, minus 3. Okay. This is the first part which we have. We have another point. We have to revise it. We have studied before in middle one. Some remark. Who can tell me what is the meaning of two complementary angles? Two com. Elementary angle. Who can say? Excellent. Two complementary angles, two angles, their sum equals 90. Excellent, military. The second one. Who can tell me what is the meaning of two supplementary angles? Good. These two angles. Their sum equal 180. We have another remark. You can remember me. What is the meaning of interior angle of the triangle? Their sum equals what? Their sum equals 180 degrees. Okay. The last remark which we have it, who can tell me what is the meaning of accumulative angle? Accumulative angle means excellent. Their sum equal 360. Remember this remark? Okay. Now we can solve. An example on this part to understand more. You can open your booklet, okay? Open your booklet, page three by the same way, okay? We have number three. Look at number three. You give me the ratio between two angles. Okay? If the ratio between the measure of two complementary angles, what the meaning of complementary angle? The sum equals 90. Excellent. The ratio is 3 to 5. Do you remember how we solved this problem? We can solve it by the way which you have studied before first two seconds to the sum the ratio three two five what is the sum of the ratio the sum of three and five will be eight and what is the sum of the two complementary angle nine excellent he asked me to find the first and the second angle who can tell me the first angle excellent it will be three times 90 over eight and the second angle it will be five times 90 over eight okay who can calculate it on the calculator the first three times ninety over eight. After you get the result, 
He asked me to find the measure in circular measure. What's the meaning of circular measure? In degrees and minutes and seconds. So what I will do, tell me the measure. The first one will be 33 degrees and 45 minutes and zero seconds. Excellent. The second one, who can calculate the second angle? Second angle, five times 90 over eight, by the same way, okay? Who can tell me the measure? Excellent, it will be 56 degree, right? And 15 minute and zero seconds. After I have finished, he asked me, if I ask you to check your answer, what I will do? I have to add them. If I add them, I will get 90 degrees because you give me the two angles are complement. Okay? You understand me, three? Okay. After you have finished this part, you can solve the homework. You can complete the three, right? And solve Bid four by the same way in your video. Thank you for listening and goodbye.